Hey friends, today we are going on the Disney treasure and I am so excited. Disney invited me up to New York City to attend the official christening of their newest Disney cruise ship and then we're going to go aboard the ship and I'm going to be able to give you a full tour and even eat at the restaurants and I'm so happy to be able to make a video and share my experiences with you. This is my very first time even stepping foot on a cruise ship and then in December I'm going to be able to go on my very first cruise on the Disney treasure. So we're gonna eat some food, explore the ship, and have a beautiful Disney treasure kind of day. Anywho's, let's go do this. And there it is, the Disney treasure, the newest cruise ship in the Disney Cruise Line fleet. You know, this could be the start of something new. I could become a big cruise guy and go on all the Disney cruises. I'm excited, and like I said, I'm just honored to be able to share all my experiences with you. For the longest time, I've always wanted to go on a cruise, but I've always been too nervous because I get anxious being anywhere I can't leave for a long period of time, but I felt like this was the perfect opportunity. I'm going to be able to attend the christening, be amongst the first people to even step aboard the ship, and it's my first cruise, so it kind of was a perfect fit. And uh, thank you guys so much because this is the reason why I can do these things is because you watch the videos and think Thank you to Disney for giving me the opportunity to make these videos and show you all the adventures that I go on. Sitting next to the Disney treasure is the Intrepid and look at how massive that is. You can see a couple of aircraft sitting on the top there and this is going to be such a great experience. The christening isn't set to start until 7 p.m. They're going to have a big celebration. We'll have some food, fireworks, maybe Mickey Mouse and a couple of other surprises. Right now I think I'm going to head back to the hotel so I can put on something fancy. I mean this is my first time even going to like a ship christening so I don't even know what to expect but I'm gonna bring you along for everything this is probably going to be a two-day video because, like I said, tonight is the christening, and then tomorrow we're going to be able to go aboard the ship, and that's when we're going to do the full tour and check everything out, and we're going to even eat on the ship, and I'm hoping we eat at the Marvel restaurant because I saw pictures of that, and it looks amazing, and I'm just excited. Like I said, it's going to be an amazing night full of celebrations and just having fun Disney cruising, and I'm also excited to be back in New York City for a little bit. I feel like I was just here maybe two or three uh, weeks ago uh, but I, I mean anytime you come to New York I'm happy I love this city all right it's time to head on into the christening ceremony and I can hear a lot of festive things happening in there it looks like they've uh, definitely uh, gone all out they even pulled out the red carpet look at that I decided on wearing my Pluto Roosevelt shirt because I feel like Pluto doesn't get enough love. And now we're gonna go and uh, the christening is gonna start. We're gonna have like a little opportunity where we can get photos and grab something to eat. And then uh, I'm sure we'll go see some speeches and dedications. Like I said, I, I'm, I've never been to one of these before so I don't know what to expect. But from what I see so far, it looks like they've done an amazing job. It looks so elegant and immersive and uh, it really, uh, fits into how the treasure is going to be. Wow, look at this. It looks like Agrabah from Aladdin. They've got live music here. Aladdin and Jasmine are up top there greeting guests as they walk in. And just look at the carpet. Everything's so fancy. This is definitely more than what I thought was going to happen. Oh, now they're dancing. Inside the event, they have some really cool photo opportunities, and a lot of them are themed after some of the experiences that you'll see on the Disney Treasure. You got a nice little Coco backdrop over here. Oh, I see the Haunted Mansion all the way at the end there. I'm so excited to go see the Haunted Mansion Lounge. I think that's going to be probably the thing I'm most excited about. I mean, I just love the Haunted Mansion, and to have something from the parks on a cruise ship, I think that's just so cool. Oh, and the Jungle Cruise. Look at that. This bar takes inspiration from the Haunted Mansion Parlor, an all-new bar on the Disney treasure that will immerse guests into the mysterious lore of the Disney Parks attraction, the Haunted Mansion. And they even have a drink here, the Haunted Mansion Parlor Ghoulish Delight. Looks like it's Coca-Cola with edible gold shimmering grenadine and then black cherry syrup and gummy eyeballs. 
I got I feel like that's a perfect kind of mansion drink. Wow, thank you. You're welcome, enjoy. All eyes on me. Might as well give it a go. I don't think there's any alcohol in this, just a bunch of gummy eyeballs. And look who joined the party. Hi, Mickey. Hi, Minnie. I'm excited to go cruising with you guys. It's going to be such a great time. My first cruise ever. So it's going to be amazing. I know, right? Yeah, but you look fantastic. The outfits are amazing. And I'm so excited for the night. I've been just hanging around, eating some of the food, and taking photos with all the cool photo opportunities. But I think uh, Bob Iger and Josh Tomorrow are going to come and have a little presentation. And then the big uh, finale is going to happen. And I'm not even sure what, I don't know what's going to happen, but uh, a lot of people are saying it's going to be really cool. So I'm excited. For more than 100 years, Disney stories have filled the world with joy and wonder, capturing the hearts and imaginations of generations across every continent. And since the launch of the Disney Cruise Line in 1998, our ships have become brand ambassadors that bring our world-class storytelling and the immersive nature of our theme parks to new audiences in new places all over the world. We also know that at the heart of everything we do are the dedicated cast members and employees who create the magic that brings joy to millions of people around the globe. And that's why, in keeping with maritime tradition, we're proud to honor our more than 200,000 employees as the official godparents of the Disney treasure. With the Disney treasure, we continue to deliver an unparalleled family vacation at sea through the magic of Disney storytelling. The memories that our guests create on board this stunning ship, they will last a lifetime. So, on behalf of our entire team, I am honored to introduce you to the Disney treasure. <laughs> Wow. wow. Look at her glow.
girl who loves my island and the girl who loves the sea. It calls me. Awesome was that drone show. I did not see that coming. Madame Leota was so cool looking. And then the hitchhiking ghost, everything was so awesome. And honestly, I would probably put that in, I, I'm gonna say it's probably the best drone show I think I've ever seen. I wish that was in the parks like all the time because I would go watch it constantly. It's just so cool to see you know what I mean? Like what we have like evolved into technology wise. Like we're literally drawing pictures in the sky and I'm just so happy to be here. That was just so cool. Now I think uh, we're gonna wrap up here soon, probably get home and uh, get ready to go on the ship tomorrow morning. And I am so excited. Like I'm sure you guys can tell cause I probably said it like 10 times, but this is seriously like a memory that I'm gonna cherish forever. I just got back from the event and they gave me a nice little goodie bag. I got a beautiful Disney treasure blanket. Ooh, what's this? Oh, it's a box. It's a big box. Holy moly, look at this. Let's see what it says. Thank you. Thank you for celebrating the Disney treasure christening with us. It was a joy to have you in attendance for this incredible milestone. We hope your evening was full of Disney magic and adventure. Oh, wow, it's a coffee cup. Look at this. I might have to set the camera down to get it out. This looks so precious. Wow. Seriously, I had such a great time tonight at the christening. And now it's time to go to bed and then we get to wake up in the morning and go on the Disney treasure. And I can't wait, we're just one sleep away. So I guess I'll see you guys in the morning. See you in the morning.
It's a beautiful morning here at Pier 88 in New York City, and it's time for us to go aboard the Disney Treasure. I'm going to take you around and show you all of the cool amenities, maybe check out some of the rooms and the Haunted Mansion parlor, and then we're going to have lunch aboard the ship, and I'm going to be able to experience what it's like walking around a cruise ship for the first time. I'm so excited! Last night was such an amazing event. I had so much fun and uh, I couldn't even sleep. I, I literally was so excited for this morning to be able to go on the ship. I kind of laid in bed just thinking about all the cool things I wanted to show you. I'm wearing uh, my red Mickey Mouse shirt. Uh, this is like one of my favorite Roosevelt shirts and it's fitting because you know Mickey Mouse's birthday was actually November 18th. That was his first appearance in uh, Steamboat Willie uh, and I also have a hoodie because it's gonna be cold up there. They said the temperatures are like in the 30s and 40s here in New York City and I'm not used to it and these Roosevelt hoodies are like the perfect temperature they don't get you too hot they keep you cool and uh, I love it so I think we're gonna go board the ship now and I can't wait to show you guys everything all right I got my credential to discover the Disney treasure and we're about to go on board wow look at how big it is I feel like once I get in there, I'm gonna be shocked at the actual size because in my head, I'm thinking it's like a ship, but <laughs> it's probably gonna be a lot bigger than I thought it was. And here it is, my first time on a cruise ship. Ooh. Thank you. Morning. How are you today? Pretty good. I can officially say I've been on a cruise ship now. How awesome is this? I can't even believe it. Now we're making our way. I think we're going right to the worlds of Marvel. Uh, and I think maybe lunch. I'm not even too sure. But I'm excited to see what the restaurant looks like. We're heading into the worlds of Marvel. Oh, thank you. 123, please. 123. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Oh, thank you. This is awesome. Welcome. Hi, how are you? I'm heading into the worlds of Marvel. I think we're going to have lunch in here. Wow, look at this place. The plan for the day is to have lunch here at the Worlds of Marvel and then we're going to go around and explore the ship and check out all the cool like spaces and I'm excited because this restaurant just glows. I mean, I've seen pictures, but like pictures don't do it justice. You can probably see the glowing on my face and I'm excited to try the food. Here is a look at the menu. Taste of the Disney treasure. We're gonna get a marble loaf bread service coming out, and then an appetizer sampler, and then I'm assuming we pick an entree. Of course, I'm probably gonna go with the 1923's peppered filet mignon, but they also have a lot of really cool pasta dishes, and even salmon, and then look at this dessert. Coco's Coconut Tre Tres Leches, World of Marvel's Chocolate Decadence, and the 1923's Atwater Fuji Apple Cheesecake Tart. This all just looks so fancy. And this PIM uh, thing is actually uh, like a way to answer questions. You select these buttons, and uh, they're going to have like kind of Marvel trivia up there on the screens. I think that's so cool, and it makes the uh, dining experience a little bit more eventful. There's three restaurants we're probably going to be seeing today. In this ship, uh, they have a cocoa-themed restaurant, the Worlds of Marvel, which we are on, well, what, where we're eating right now, and then uh, they have 1923. And I'm excited because even if we're not going to eat at each one of them, at least I get to try the food here. And uh, once I come back and go on the cruise, I'm going to be able to dine at the other locations. And plus, I get to show you the inside of the restaurants because the theming is what's catching my eye and I haven't even eaten the food yet. As you dine, we will drop in on your favorite heroes both around the world and across the galaxy. We are celebrating the heroes who keep us all safe. Well, I prefer to be called Star Lord. I prefer to call him something bang against in front of group. I am thrilled. I can't believe that's who you picked out of all of us. I saved the galaxy three times, and I don't see no pictures of me. No one cares that I'm your hero. They don't even know me. 
Even the dinner rolls are red. Look at that. It's so fancy looking. Oh, it is. It, it's rye. It's like red pepper marble rye, actually. Oh, I'm going to give it a go. The steak has arrived. And take a look at how beautiful that is. They bundled up the uh, green beans like a little stack of sticks. And they have like the bacon wrapping it all together. And then the mashed potatoes. Look at this. It's so formed perfectly. I kind of like that. It's, a, it's the little things that get me excited, like the shape of mashed potatoes. But now we're going to dive in. I honestly don't want to disrupt my mashed potatoes, but I feel like maybe I could just take it in like little tiny uh, like cutoffs. Like cut off just a piece of it like this. Oh, there it is. The perfect bite. <laughs> The gravy is so delicious. The mashed potatoes have a nice little kind of salty taste to them. And I like it salty like that. But, but honestly, the steak is standing out the most for me. I didn't break up the green beans yet because they're too pretty and I'll probably wait. But uh, I just want to enjoy them a little longer. <laughs> I probably would give this steak a black and white moment, but we're in this very colorful room, so I don't want to change the colors. So just know I love it. What have you got there? Come on, girl. What's that? What's Come on, girl. Oh, come on. All right, you can do it. You can do it. Enough of the steak business. Take a look at this dessert trio we just got. I love it. I'm so excited to dive into all of it. It looks very fancy. I'm, I'm guessing that this is the apple cheesecake right here, but all of it looks good. I think I'm going to take a little bite of everything. Oh, this is the cocoa tres leche. I'm going to give it a go. I was going to say, it's a little hard. Nice little meringue. Do you want my chocolate one? That is actually good, though. Yeah, only because I just told you. And you're aiming it at a ship for Terrence! Don't push that button to it. That is a very dangerous button. Don't do it. I mean it! Ugh, okay, that's more like No! For the lava! Uh, 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 uh. The Worlds of Marvel Dining was so fun, interactive, I loved all the celebrations, the lights, and the food was good. The dessert was awesome. I actually loved the apple. Uh, I didn't like the cheesecake because I don't like cheesecake that much, but I like the apple pie like tart that went with the cheesecake. And now uh, it's time to start the tour and we're going to go around and explore the ship. We're making our way over to the spa. This is our first stop. Oh, look at there's a little gift shop there. I wish we could do some shopping. I'd buy some things. It looks like they got a lot of good uh, goodies in there. When I first walked in, I told you guys that it's going to be bigger than I probably thought it was going to be. And I kind of uh, live to that statement still. This is massive in here. It's like the size of like the Wilderness Lodge lobby. And I love looking at everything. The gift shops, the music, the carpet. Everything's just so fancy. Oh, and they got maps here too. That's good to know. We're right here in the Grand Hall. I don't know if every cruise ship smells like this or if it's just because it's brand new, but it smells so amazing in here. 
we're going to tour around the spa a little bit and check out uh, some of the offerings. I look outside and I just kind of, I'm still shocked that we're in New York City. Look at the skyline over there. Isn't that so cool? It smells really nice inside the spa. They said that one of the most popular spots uh, to come when you're on the cruise is to the spa because they have like a rainforest room and I'm kind of excited to see what that looks like. I think they're going to take us in. The spa is so nice and it's very peaceful in here. They've got like swinging uh, sofas there, nice chairs to sit down and I think they even have an outside area but they have a cold room. It's like a refrigerarium. A refrigerarium. Look at it in here. Wow. And with some ice cubes on the ground. It does tell you don't eat the ice though. I wouldn't want to eat it, but it's still cool. I think you could put your hand in there and feel the ice. Wow, it's real ice. I thought that was actually fake. This could be probably my favorite uh, room <laughs> on the ship or in the spa. It's so nice and cool in here and it smells nice. It just makes me happy being in here. <laughs> As we make our way to the Grand Hall, I think we're cutting through the health center here. Looks like they got a lot of equipment to actually work out with. Very cool that you can stay active and fit while you're on a cruise and eating a lot of food. They've got fresh oranges and bananas over there too. So you can uh, have a little snack as you're on the treadmill. I like that. And the view too. Can you imagine running on the treadmill looking out at sea? Right now, it's just a parking lot. <laughs> I think that's the Intrepid. Actually, that's kind of a cool view. <laughs> Walking on the treadmill, staring at the Intrepid. That's not too bad. But we're going to keep moving along. I think we're going to make our way, like I said, over to the Great Hall. Here is the Grand Hall. And I love all of these pillars. I love the carpet. They got a nice little statue of Aladdin and Jasmine there. This is so nifty and it's so much bigger than I thought it was going to be. Like a, like I said, this is kind of what I thought I was going to have, like a reaction. I, I know that, you know, I mean, cruise ships are huge, but until you step inside of them, you really don't understand how big it actually is. The Grand Hall is kind of like a hotel lobby. It's the first thing you see when you walk in. And they said there's always something happening here. Entertainment, characters, games, and I really do love it. I think it's one of those things where you kind of just look around and you drop your jaw because it's like, it's, it's pretty amazing. And the detail is just so exceptional. And I can't stop looking at all of the cool, like Disney history uh, attached to the outside in 1923 right off the grand hall they have 1923 and i love seeing all of the walton roy artwork and uh the restaurant itself looks pretty amazing they have some animation happening there it just looks so elegant this like probably might be my favorite restaurant especially because of all the art in here and just seeing like pieces of disney history and being able to sit down and kind of enjoy a nice little meal yeah i'm gonna like it a lot here now I think we're gonna make our way to the Oceaneer Club. This is kind of like the kids play area. And because this is a tour uh, like kind of cruise, uh, we're gonna be able to see it empty. And I think there's a slide that we could take to get down there. And I think I might use the slide. I mean, I think that's really cool. And if I was a kid, I would love it. I mean, if I was a kid, I'd probably be hanging out in there all the time. All right, here's the slide. I think I'm doing it. I might not be able to get back up afterwards though. <laughs> Oh boy. Oh, I hit my head already. Ah! <laughs> that was actually really awesome. <laughs> Can I do it again? As soon as you get off the slide, they have like an automatic hand washer and sanitizer. I think you just stick your hands in there. Oh my Lord. That is the craziest thing I think I've ever seen. I've never seen anything like this before. Wow. That's cool. Here it is, the Oceaneer Club. Look, you got some stormtroopers over there too. Wow. Look at all the animation in here. Lead the way, sir. I'll follow you anywhere. Walt Disney Imagineering Lab. So oh. let's stop right here. This is Fairy Tale Hall. You're welcome to come on in. We have Belle's Library where we do a story for Belle as well with the kids. There's Rapunzel's Art Studio. We search for the Snuggly Duckling. Uh, wow. And then right at the back there, you'll see we have uh, some Frozen friends as well with uh, a snowball fight and we do a Frozen coronation celebration. 
This is very nicely themed. They could have fooled me by saying this is a kid's area, because I feel like I could hang out here as an adult, especially in the Imagineer lab. I think that's really fancy. And like I said, uh, someone mentioned that they have this on other cruise ships, but I've never been on a cruise ship, so like, this is all new to me and it's all exciting. Tap and design and create their own roller coasters, and then they get to ride their coaster right over there in the ride simulator too. Well, that's cool. Uh, there's a scale model of the ship as well as uh, the back of the ship right here. Uh, this was the prototype, the, the Hook and Peter Pan uh, back of the ship. So as you can see, around every corner, there's just kids are immersed in different entertainment experiences, and they can gravitate towards whatever it is that they desire while they're in here. So really, they get to choose whatever adventure they want to have while they're in here. That's cool. And then we'll head this way to the Star Wars cargo bay. So we're entering a Star Cruiser as well. And this is the cargo bay. So you'll see lots of different creatures uh, that you might find across the galaxy. Wow. A lot of interactives as well. You can push the buttons, you can play with everything. Or to the cargo bay for instruction and activity. Once again, all young mates, creatures, and droids Please report to the cargo bay. Activities will begin soon. So all the way in. Here we go. Uh, yeah, we got lots of it. What's that? Auden. She's oh. really fine with it. Oh! <laughs> uh, oh, hello. Please forgive my interruption. I'm Ray. Do you all know Ray? Yeah. 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 This is my friend Ray. Uh, I thought you might be interested in this. <laughs> this is a Jedi holocron. This is beautiful. Yes, here, why don't we back up just a little bit? Yes, I've read all about these in the Jedi text. They stored important Jedi knowledge and teachings. You should open it. I think you're right. Will you all help me? Yes. Yeah. Perfect. Now, to open it, we must use the Force. Now reach out and let the Force flow through you. Master Yoda, this is incredible. He's one of the greatest Jedi there ever was. Should we see what he has to share with us? Yes. yes. Teach you the ways of the Force, I will. Do you all want to learn the ways of the Force from yes. Master Yoda? Yes. yes. I thought you might. What's going on? BB-8, status report. The First Order, how did they find us? Warning traders, we have orders from the Supreme Leader to take the holocron and bring the girl in. Alright, force position. Alright, on my count, use the force to push. Three, two, one, push! That's enough. You're coming with us. Or we start blasting. Uh, uh, what if we do the Jedi mind trick? Uh, we gotta get him like on a ray. Uh, everybody say, you will let her go! You will let her go! Let her go. Now we gotta get him out of here. Everybody say, you will now leave empty handed! You will now leave empty handed! I think it's time for us to leave. Empty handed. <laughs> I agree. We should go. The Oceaneer Club is really fun, and the Star Wars area kind of reminded me of the Galactic Star Cruiser a little bit. Now I think we're going to make our way to the new Coco restaurant, and I just like walking around looking at all the fresh paint, all the nice little murals they got on here. Look at, just as you walk around, it just looks so nice and kind of gives you positive vibes. It's a small world. Well, this is the entrance to the uh, small world nursery here. Look at that. It's a small world after all. Here it is, Plaza di Coco. It looks very cool so far. This restaurant is uh, an entertainment dining, and I think we're gonna see the show a little bit. And when you eat here, they have two different shows. So if you do come on the treasure, uh, you might actually uh, be able to see both shows. Hello. Oh, hey, how are you? Thank you. Look how festive it is in here. Hello, good, afternoon. good afternoon. Wow. I like it already. And that's the stage right there. That's kind of cool. And I think they have 
some of the food on display too. Look at this. This is probably some of the food that's gonna be offered. Looks like everything I would like to eat. <laughs> we have a sneak peek of what guests will experience at Plaza de Coco, so let's give a round of applause. <laughs> to do some more. give you a little Dante straw too. I kind of love that. I'm putting it in my purse. You're coming home with me. The new Coco restaurant is so beautiful and the entertainment, we only got a sneak peek because we're not having dinner or lunch again. We just had lunch at the Worlds of Marvel, but it was really cool just to see the inside and listen to a little bit of the entertainment. Now I think we're moving along and I think we're heading to Jumbo Sweets. This is like a little uh, snack spot. I was just wearing Pluto's shirt yesterday. <laughs> Clear the way for Pluto. Dog coming through. <laughs> no, he gets his own elevator too. As he should be. <laughs> Priority Pluto. Oh, and here is Jumbo Sweets. Look at it in here. Very colorful. Got a bunch of ice cream. That looks really cool, the way they got the ice cream set up like that. And then they've got some snacks over here. An ice cream topping bar. Hi, how are you? That's for me? Thank you. Wow. Look at all these snacks over here. A zebra rice crispy treat, chocolate dip marshmallows. This looks all so fancy. And it's kind of cool just hanging out in here. I love that we got ourselves a little treat here. I'm gonna try it now. I've got such an amazing view of the Intrepid right now. Look at the Intrepid over there. 20 different flavors of gelato and 16 different flavors of ice cream. It's amazing. We made our way to the upper deck and look how cool it is up here. You can see the Aqua Mouse. I cannot wait to ride that. And they have so many pools. Look at, you got a pool over there. You got a pool right here. You got a pool over there. And then I think you got a Pluto right there. So that's kind of cool. Hey Pluto, fancy seeing you up here. 
Look at the view. Isn't it an amazing? New York City. And there's so many pools. You got a pool there. You got a pool there. I mean, I know we're in New York, but if we were, you know, out on the ocean, I wouldn't mind hopping in the pool. Right now, I probably wouldn't recommend it. It's a little bit chilly here, but it's still cool just walking around the decks here, making our way. I think we're going to actually make our way to the either front or the back of the boat. I don't know the difference. I'm not too sure if I'll ever see, like the New York City skyline from a Disney cruise line again. So I kind of want to take it all in as we walk around because it's so amazing. Look at the background and then seeing all this. I can't wait to actually hang out here and relax a little bit. This is so fancy. I'm telling you, my excitement level keeps on going up a notch every single area we go and visit just on the other side of the pools. Look at this, they've got like a Toy Story splash pad here. Look at Bullseye there, Bo Peep, Woody, Jesse. They even have Zerg, I kinda like this. This is awesome. The Toy Story splash zone. Fancy, oh and look at Rex over here. This is cool. I think we're gonna make our way to check out one of the rooms here. I'm excited because uh, I've never seen uh, the inside of a room on a cruise ship before. This is one of the uh, regular state rooms. It sleeps up to five and look, they actually have separate doors for the bathroom. So you have the toilet and sink in there and then you have the shower in there. Nice big bed and Kanto right over there. You got a pull out couch and I think there's a drop down Murphy bed up there too. This is pretty fancy and I like it a lot. You even have your own balcony too. I don't know if we can go out there, but this is pretty cool. I'm glad that we got to check out one of the rooms because now I know what to expect when we go on the cruise. But I think we're going to probably start making our way to uh, either the Haunted Mansion Lounge or the Jungle Cruise one. Those are the ones I've been excited most for. And I guess uh, as they say, uh, you saved the best for last. This is the Skipper Society, the jungle's finest outpost. And this is new to this ship too. Kind of looks cool. In fact, this little dining room over here actually looks like uh, Skipper's Canteen. Yeah, look at the uh, light fixtures with the birds up there. I could see myself hanging out in here, grabbing a drink, just relaxing a little bit. And I like the theming too. It looks very nice, very casual. Oh, they have another booth over here. That's actually really awesome. Oh, and they have some drinks to try. I'm not even sure what that is. Jungle juice. Jungle juice? I'll take a little jungle juice. It's a mocktail? Oh, it's a mocktail. Trying some jungle juice from the Skipper Society. Oh, that's actually really delicious. Now we're gonna check out the Scat Cat Lounge. Look at this. Very fancy in here. Kind of reminds me of the French Quarter. How you doing? Wow, piano player in here? Hello. Wow, look at it in here. Welcome, welcome. Welcome, welcome. You can just hang out in here, listen to some music. So cozy. I don't know, I haven't seen the Haunted Mansion bar yet, but this is might be my favorite. <laughs> yeah. Look at the way they actually make the drinks. Here's some uh, display drinks, and I'm sure this is how it's gonna be served. So fancy like that. Wow. Now it's time to head on into the Haunted Mansion Parlor. It's the one thing I've been excited most for, and I can see the Tomb Sweet Tomb over there. Look at that. All the pictures, even the sign. I want that sign. And look at this. Wow, I'm so excited. You just open the door, go in then. Oh, thank you. Look at this. This bar is so amazing. I absolutely love it. And all the drinks have special effects and they come with tiki. Does that say Haunted Mansion on top of there? 
Okay. It's only visible with the black lens. Oh, that's kind of cool. Challenge that's one of the drinks, yeah? Yes. Oh, and then... Uh, that was a secret message. Oh, that's cool. A message from beyond. And these are two tiki mugs that we have here. You can buy them? Yes. These are wow. Double. So we have the Mariner and the Bride, which are both featured on the portraits on the back over there. The Mariner actually has his own hook. And there's also the steer on the board. Wow. Hi everyone, I'm Danny Hickey, creator director at Walt Disney Imagineering. With me is Daniel, our chief uh, illusionist and special effects designer. Madeline, our show producer. Behind the bar is our Disney Cruise Line beverage manager, Ben, who's going to serve you some ghoulish delights in just a little bit. We are so excited to bring the Haunted Mansion to the high seas. This is the first Haunted Mansion bar in the world. And, uh, and we're so excited to take the classic attraction and, uh, and uh, tell the next story in the lore of, uh, with our Haunted Mansion parlor. So when you're in this space, please feel free to walk around. Uh, depending on where guests sit, when they experience the bar, uh, when the bar opens in December, wherever you sit in the space, you might see or hear something different. This space evolves around you uh, as, uh, as we go through the different acts of our show. And so the chapter we're gonna play for you right now is called The Seance. This is where Madame Leota will help us materialize the ghosts for the swinging wake. So please enjoy the show. Look at the wallpaper. All the pictures come alive or they die. Look at the fishes inside the tank, they're little skeleton. Wow. 
And with that, I think we are done here today. I had such an amazing time and all the cast members that were working on the cruise ship or the cast members that even put this event together did such a great job. And I, I'm so excited to actually go on my very first cruise. And I can't wait to make a video and share that experience with you. Today, we got to see a lot of the cruise ship itself. We got to try some of the food and in just a couple of, uh, weeks we're gonna actually be aboard that ship for a couple of days and I'm gonna be able to sit down and look over the details in all of the rooms like the Haunted Mansion parlor I can't wait to just spend a couple hours hanging out in there just taking it all in and the same thing with the shows like the, the Moana show I wasn't allowed to record it because uh, they don't let you record the shows on the cruise ships but let me tell you something we got a preview of that show and it was phenomenal like it was so amazing and honestly I'm just so excited and I'm so happy that I got this amazing opportunity and I can't wait to like I said share my uh, first uh, cruise with all of you so I hope you enjoyed the video I enjoyed making it and uh, we'll see you next time bye